What's up? This is take three. This is the third. This is the third take, and I gotta say it because I, I was distracted twice already. Now I'm gonna do it again. So pay close attention to how to do this. This is how to align Radiant RXD with your Ice River KSO, um, right? KSO, KSO Pro, and Ultra on Aminable. You're going to use your old machine, your Ice River that's becoming unprofitable, whatever, and you. And you want to, you you want to mine. You want to get some radiant. You want to use one of those uh, machines. You want to use I KSO Pro KS, KSO or oh, Ultra. All right, on a mineable. I'm just winging this out. I'm not gonna be rehearsing like these little other YouTubers. They they gotta do like a hundred takes. Just pay attention. You know that's just the way I'm gonna do things. All right, I wing things out when you know YouTube don't pay me enough. To be doing all this 100 takes. All right. So here we go. Now, what you're going to do, you're going to go to a website called Unminable. Okay. So I'm going to show you that screen. All right. Let it pop up here. Let me just do this right. It's a lot of stuff here. You got to click, 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 click. All right. So, so I'm, I'm at the Unminable site. All right, so you can mine all the coins that are on on this site. All of these coins, whatever you see here, you could you can you could you know mine all of these, okay? In theory, okay. So, but we we're doing radiant. So I'm gonna click on radiant. Click on radiant. I was already there. So okay, start earning radiant. Now the first thing you're going to do is pretty simple. Just pay attention. Pay close attention. First thing you're gonna do, you're gonna you're going you're gonna go, and you you want to get the algorithm K heavy hash as you can see right here. That's the one you're gonna choose, okay? Not Pyron, Blake, or Random Max, whatever. So if it's not in the right spot, look for the right one, okay? That's the one you wanna you wanna use the K heavy hash algorithm. So I clicked on it, okay? If not, you're gonna be in the wrong place. It's not gonna work right, okay? So now you're gonna go down here after you click that. Down here, you're gonna see over here was highlighting kheavyhash.unmindable.com. You could probably click on it, copy it, whatever, you know, um, you know, and then, then just dump it, whatever. But you still also need the uh, whatever it's called. See, that's why I can't do this twice. Uh, the port, port. Can't do it twice. Anyway, everything was going good the first time. Ice River, right here. So you go down here because you're gonna need the port address. Ice River KSO Zero Pro Ultra. You see right here. So you're gonna use this port. Use this one. TCP four 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 five. You're gonna need that. You need that port. After you copy this, you're gonna need that port. You're gonna call in at the end, and then well, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. Or you get lost. Okay. I'm gonna show you how it's gonna look. All right, after you copy this, you put that there, and then you're going to use that port, colon port 444, similar to what you've been doing before. Just kind of like look, you know, look at the other one, you know. So you need this. You, that's the stratum. You need the stratum. Okay. So let me just show you what I'm talking about. I, mean, I got to pop it up. See it's green and this and that. There you go. Okay, that's the wrong one. That's just the name of the title of the video. How about that? How to write it down? All right, um, share screen window. This is it. All right. Okay. Now over here, you see that? That's this is how it has to look. Stratum plus TCP colon backslash backslash K heavy hash dot unminable dot com colon four 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 five okay i'm gonna put it in the description i don't know if it's gonna show up youtube might block it because it's like an address you know they you know they you know they like to block those kind of things so it, it might show partially or whatever but just look at the way it's gonna show it has to be exactly the way you see here okay okay so you're gonna put that in fill it in on the left hand side of your um 
your GUI, when you when you log into the GUI on the left hand side, you know, the slots on the left hand side, that's going you got that's the um uh the stratum, that's the stratum you're gonna use. Okay, simple as that. Now, the next thing you're going to do, you're going to need is the wallet address. As you can see here, basically it's going to look like this, okay? Uh, let me show you first of what I'm talking about. I'm just trying to do things quickly here. Share screen, window, right here, okay. All right, here we go. Now, as you can see right here, as you can see right here, I'm going to highlight it. Okay, you see that? This is how it's going to look pretty much. You, When you put it in your wallet address, it's going to say RXD, right? You got to put in RXD, capital letters, or it's not going to work. It's not going to work right. Colon, your wallet address dot your worker name whatever worker name you want to put okay so at the end of this because this pool charges you one percent so if you want to reduce that rate you're going to use my code okay so in order you to use the code you have to put a a, a pound sign and then put nerd things and more i'm going to show you what it looks like okay this is going to be at the, you're going to put this where the wallet address belongs. Boom. Click on this window. Share that. Is this it? Okay. As you can see right here, I mean, you know, you see it here? It's going to, you got to do RXD, capital letters, colon, your wallet address, whatever it is, XXX, whatever. I just put X. Wallet address to your, to your radiant address okay then you're gonna put whatever your worker name is gonna be after that dot here worker name and then you're gonna put pound nerd things and more nerd things and more okay for so you can get the uh pull from the pull uh fee from lower down from one percent to uh 0.75 okay nerd things and more Okay, that's all you gotta do. After that, you save it and then re reboot the, the miner. Okay, that's all you gotta do. You understand what I'm saying? So, you hear that ice cream? I think it's time for ice cream. <laughs> so, that's pretty much it. Okay, any questions? Don't ask me. I already just re repeat, <laughs> rinse and repeat about it there again. So that's how you mine Radiant with your KS0, KSO Pro, and, and KSO Ultra. That's how you do it on those, okay? Uh, pretty much, I think on a KSO Ultra, I, I started there like yesterday, and I got like over 250 coins, and then... It might be like 400 coins a day. I don't know. You check, you know, on the ultra. I don't know. You guys got to check it out. So I just started doing that. You know, you know, it's a little bit, it's, you know, but it's something. That's if, you know, you don't want to buy the machine or whatever, the, the, um, the radiant machine. So you want to do that. All right. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's it for the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And this is the third take that I did. I hate doing retakes. And that's it. I'm out. Peace.